Hey. I just wanted to let you know that I'm cleaning dinner up. I tried to wait. But then I fell asleep on the couch before putting it away. And it was chicken, so... It would probably make you sick if I made a plate for you and put it in the fridge now. Are you going to come to bed? Because if not, I could bring you up a little something to eat. You worked straight through dinner. And I don't even know if you stopped for lunch. Come to think of it, I don't think I've seen you without your nose in a phone or a monitor or a document since coffee this morning. You have been so busy in here and you can't run off coffee alone. You must have worked up an appetite. What about some cookies and milk? Or a peanut butter sandwich? I can make you like a little sack lunch. I could order a pizza. I don't think I can stay up late enough to answer the door, but... Okay. But if you've got that much work left to do, then you're going to need something in the fuel tank to keep those gears turning, fingers typing. You're going to conk out right at your desk. Are you sure? Well, I could put on a pot of coffee, if it'll help. All right. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to be helpful. Of course. Well, you know where to find me, if you need me. I'm pretty tired, but I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV in bed. If you're not too spent, you can wake me up when you get in there. Say goodnight. It'd be nice to hear about your day. Or at least see you for a couple of minutes. Have those eyes actually looking at me instead of locked in on that computer screen. They must have the winning lottery numbers on your screen. Well, you were going to have to ask for more vacation time just so we can get back to where we were in our relationship before you took on this job. I know. And I know you can't really ask for more PTO. I was joking. I just want to spend time with you. I know, the hiring package was already really generous. You're right. We are lucky. Yes, of course. I'll close the door on my way out. Can I at least get a goodnight kiss first? Thank you, baby. It's just... Are you sure? You don't need anything from me. I just thought that with you working remote now that... Well, I don't know, that we would have more time together. You know, no commuting. No getting stuck late at the office. No holiday parties. Overtime happens in our house. We have lunch breaks together in the dining room or on the patio when the weather gets nicer. I guess I just never thought that we would have less time to see each other compared to when we both worked out of the house 40 hours each week. It's not that I'm complaining. I'm not. Because you're right. We are lucky and we do have to make sacrifices. And it is work. And I know that your work is important. And that you are the best person for this job. There is... Not a single doubt in my mind. 
But when you kissed me, just then, it was really weird. I like caught a whiff of your shower soap and it smelled so good. And it made me think, why does that smell so good to me? And I realized it's because I miss even just being near you. We've been moving in such opposite circles lately that that was the closest I've actually gotten to you in days, maybe. That's depressing. I know. I had that doctor's appointment yesterday. The day before that, I worked from the office for that half shift. And the day before that, you were in meetings all day for that big presentation. Then we had your parents over until bedtime. Look, I know it all happens for a reason. I just miss you. And I want to be supportive. I want to be part of this new chapter of yours. Clearly, you still have time to shower. If I can still smell soap on your skin after a whole entire day trapped up in the home office. Maybe I could shower with you one of these mornings. We'll team up. Double time it. And maybe I can even cut your shower time in half by getting in there and helping you scrub. Well, it doesn't have to be the same shower. Maybe I could help you at work. Proofread your emails or print something hole punch paper anything oh come on there's got to be something I can do what I am just supposed to wait for your next day off you didn't even take one last weekend well if you don't know what it's gonna be do you think you could find out I mean damn you guys are in meetings all day long all night long too now Apparently, there must be somebody you can ask. <sighs> I guess just pencil me in sometime. Send me a freaking Zoom link or whatever. It's fine. I'm tired. And I know I probably put you behind schedule already by rambling. I just want to go to bed. I'm sure. What? I told you. I'm going to sleep. I didn't say where. So I'm going to sleep right there. On the couch in the office. I know. I hate that couch. It always screws up my back. But I guess we're just going to have to add a back rub to the very long list of things that you owe me once all this is over and your work schedule is back to normal. You can put remaking the bed on there too. And I am not putting all these pillows and blankets away in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am way ahead of you. I brought headphones to put on with my show. You won't even notice I'm here. But you will know I'm here. And I will know that you're here. And that's more than we had last night. So I don't know. It's something, I guess. Jesus, why do you have it so warm in here? I don't know how you can even think with it so stuffy in here. I would get stifled. Would it distract you too much if I open a window? Fine. Then I'm sleeping in my undies. What? Don't you have an email to write? Or read. Eyes back on your screen. 
You've been ignoring me all day. A lot. You just get to enjoy the show now. Uh uh. I don't think so. What? Are you finally realizing that you miss me too? <laughs> Is that what it took? A couple of tits? You know it's been days since you've kissed me. How long do you think it's been since you've touched me? I don't know. I was just wondering out loud. I don't think either of us really want to see those statistics, do we? So go ahead. Go back to your work. I will just slip into something more comfortable and put my bed together on this couch. Hmm? You what? Dropped something? Where? <laughs> Under your desk. Well, why don't you lean down and get it? Oh, really? Is that the big task you thought of for me? That's how I can help you. Crawling under your desk to pick up a pen. Fine. But you're not subtle. <sighs> you need a bigger desk. Ugh. Uh -huh. Just like I thought. There's no pen down here. So tell me. You're thinking about how long it's been since you've had me on my knees? Mm. If you missed me like that, you could have just said. So? Are you going to take a little break on that work of yours? Or are we going to partner up and multitask? Alright. Lean back. Scoot your chair closer. Come here so I can work on you while you work on that. 